Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. It has finished here, full time on Dangerous Park. Newcastle 4, Palace nil. As easy as that, as easy as that. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more of that tonight in the two. And the place is bouncing, the place is buzzing. And that was easy. Come on, Matty. Easy stuff. Easy Walk in the park. Come on. Beats at the random pace. I put your book on legend, man. And yes, hold tight to Newcastle. Newcastle, Matty, Jones. Come on, man. We're fucking going to win the fucking Premier League. We're going to win the Premier League? Yeah, we're going to for our first. He said it, we're going to win the league. To be fair, I was coming down there after the game. And people were saying, it's the return of the entertainers, Matty. It's the return of the entertainers. And it was in a sense that obviously it was 4 0 the day, it was easy. Um, I said 3 0 in the preview, it could have been more. Probably should have been more. But we really did take our foot off the gas there in the second half with Sap Park and what a luxury it was to be able to bring on the subs. Do you know what I mean? 20, 25 minutes to go, you just say, ah, let's, let's bring on Tonalia for a round of applause. Let's bring on Anderson. Let's take Wilson off, take Gordon off. You know what I mean? Made it easy. It was lightweight the day. I told you in the preview, you know, Palace. Not a very good side. They're no, really not. I mean, going forward, no Elise, no Ellis, uh, Eze today. Obviously, they got rid of Zaha. Defensively, they're meant to be good. You know, we were linked with their Anderson, their centre back. He was meant to be the next, you know, one of the best things in the Premier League. Late work at him the day. I tell you what, the early goal changes everything, though, doesn't it? That early goal by Jacob Murphy, who added the Pumphreys chat. Obviously, you remember people every match say we're in Pumphreys in a pre match talk. We've, we've seen uh, Jacob Murphy was starting. I said, that's the right call. That's a good decision because Almiron's just been playing uh, for South for, for Paraguay in South America, should I say, in that break. So he's only came back 24, 40 hours ago. It made sense playing Jacob Murphy. He deserves his chance. He deserves a start, and he got it. You know what I mean? He got it and he took it well. That, that goal was a bit of a fluke, probably a cross, wasn't it? Let's be honest. It's probably a cross by Murphy. Um, but you know, it goes in. It goes to VAR, and we get given the goal. Thankfully, you know, a bit of a delay as usual from VAR but we get given the goal it goes our way and then we're on we're on our way from there Palace's game plan completely goes out the window they can't sit back anymore they, there's no point in them playing that low block that defensive line like they would have done for the entire game if we didn't take that early lead so us taking that lead was a big boost and allowed us to just play our game the crowd got behind them it was a nice nice day in St. James Park there easy to hit the office really wasn't it nice easy 3 o'clock kick off at St. James Park you can see the weather is our the day now? You had the storm yesterday, storm a bit, kicking right off. Wind rained a lot yesterday. Today it hasn't been too bad. And on the pitch, it wasn't too bad either, was it? Like I said, light work for the players. Wilson slots home late on in the second half. That's an easy finish. I thought Murphy with that assist. Murphy for the whole game. I tell you what, he came in and he really staked his claim. I thought he was quality. I thought Jacob Murphy was class. You know, to come in there, start a Premier League game, hasn't played much football. I think he's only at a start. He's been at the San Siro against AC Milan, so he's came in there and he's made it look easy. He's came in home, yeah, loving it. He's came in at home and uh, he's done an easy job. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's made it easy for him. Murphy, he's, he's done fantastic. He's spread the ball about nicely. He's got a couple of assists. Trippier again with an assist. Trippier was tremendous at right back again. What a talent. Makes things easy. We've seen Lascelles start again. You know, Jamal Lascelles starts. Sven Botman's on the bench. Lascelles starts. Easy again for them. You know, I said though, I said in the preview, Palace have got absolutely nothing up top. They have got nothing. A cup, B cup, you name it, they've got now up top. They were poor. Do you know that? You give them a on that up front. They were bad. They were bad. And when Nick Pope actually did call, get called in auction, which wasn't until about the 80th minute with that free kick from Edward, he made a fantastic save, Nick Pope. It's another clean sheet for him. It's another clean sheet for our back lane. And it's another three points. Is that four wins in a row now, is it? I think, I believe. It's hard to remember after the, the international break, but we were eighth. Yes, mate, we were eighth before the game. But after that, we might be six now, I think, because I do believe Man City were winning 2 0 at half 10 against Brighton. So that'll see us go up to around six now. So we're looking pretty, getting in and amongst them European places. And I tell you what, that is a perfect game for a confidence builder for Wednesday against Dortmund not that we need we're confidence builded or boosted by any means because we've been flying ourselves but after the international break to come back in action and to make it that easy that'll lift everyone nice nice day out honestly it's been a lovely day out a lovely Saturday out that just what you want really what more could you want a few goals clean sheet three points on the board laughing and like I said rest of players rest of players didn't need to force Isaac on didn't need to force Botman back 
who did come back was Joe Linton, who I thought settled in nicely. Didn't recognise him at first, to be honest. Big J7 without the blonde hair. He's like me now, no blonde hair. Didn't recognise him for a while there. Didn't recognise him for a while, but um, I've got to pick up Murphy again for me, man of the match. Let us know your man of the match and everything else in the comments, but for me, Murphy, man of the match, he was absolutely outstanding. To come in, right hand side, create chances, score his goal. <sighs> brilliant, man. Absolutely brilliant. Everyone will be buzzing here on Tainside this Saturday night. I'm sure everyone will be enjoying it, celebrating it with a few beers, and then they'll look forward to uh, Wednesday night because just a few days' time, Champions League anthem will be ringing out here again at St James's Park. What a night that's going to be, but what a win to get back into the Premier League and get back the swing of things before there's obviously a hectic month ahead. But back onto the game today, like I said, Tonali did come on. You'll see it in the Master Day vlog. You can watch it there if you didn't see it in the flesh. You went there at St James's. Big rows for Tonali when he warmed up and big rows when he came on as well. There was huge support for Sandro Tonali. His name was ringing around the stadium. It was nice that we could bring him on with no pressure, no expectancy, so he could come on and, and do his thing. And you know, he, he did look a bit tentative, I'll be honest. He didn't really do much, but when he did play, did get the ball, it was just it was easy touches, easy passes. There was nothing too extravagant, but I guess that's not really his game. But it was really good to see the backing for him, the support for him, and he'll feel that love, he'll feel that support, and I'm sure it'll mean a lot to him. You know, it will mean a lot to him. So. Tonali can come on and have a kick about. Anderson can come on and have a kick about. Like I said, the return of Joe Linton, he can get up to fitness. He's that gets 20 minutes just to stretch his legs and get ready for Dortmund on Wednesday. And then, uh, what else, you know, what else I love today was Sean Longstaff's celebration. Doing the Shira again at the Gallagher's. What a moment for Longstaff. He was very composed and he's finished there. He took his time with it, slotted it home. And I don't think Newcastle get many easier Premier League games than that to be honest with you I don't I mean 4-0 Palace were poor I said it in my preview I said they were poor I don't rate them especially without Eze and Elise you know they're two main attacking threats I don't rate them at all it was easy work for us it was late work and then we can look forward to Dortmund and then what will be more difficult in the coming weeks as the games come thick and fast but just on today I thought it was brilliant I thought it was fantastic to be there at Newcastle today at St James Park and obviously expectancy levels are there everyone's thinking yeah, I eat Palace today I said 3 on the preview fans on chatting new throughout the day we all thought it was going to be a win and uh, the expectancy is there but we delivered and you know it was so nice just watching Newcastle and um, being impressed by it being impressed free flowing football nice touches nice passes nice movement nice counter attacks cosy at the back cosy like me in this big jacket of the day cosy at the back made life easy made it you know, they were never in threat they were three and at half time is a dream an absolute dream and what a win that is for Newcastle 4-0 another handful of goals another clean sheet we are flying up that Premier League table E-I-E-I-O and now we can't wait for Wednesday so make sure you tune in to the Magpie Channel TV hit subscribe for all the videos that are coming your way give this one a like and most importantly enjoy yourselves what we're doing